I'll hide them is not the only character coming in version 3.4. As we discussed in the previous video, we talked about what you need for I'll hide them to basically be ready for his release. But there is the other character that is coming out and her name is of course, Yao Yao. But before we get into that, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of when the next video comes out for Genshin Impact. Guys, also, I am sponsored by Gamer Subs. If you haven't checked them out already, it is a gluten-free, keto-friendly drink that is really, really, really good. So many great flavors without the chemical-like tasteness and nastiness of some other energy drinks out there. So if you guys want something that's a little bit better for you, please make sure to check out the link down below. Use code infantry on purchase to get 10% off. And of course, send me your order number. So in that way, we could work towards getting our own personal code. But without any further delay let's go ahead and get right into it now guys just like i said yao yao is the other character that's going to be coming out and big shout out to honey hunter world for providing us with this wonderful you know easy kind of guide in general like that's what i really like about this in general is that honey hunter world makes it very easy to kind of see what's going on with these characters so Yao Yao here is a Dendro pull arm user, four star obviously, because she's, you know, going to be a free unit that we could also get through the Lantern Rite. But what's really cool about her is that everything that you need to farm for her is already out. So unlike I'll hide them, you could pre-farm fully for Yao Yao. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, as you can see, we need, of course, more Dendro stuff. Nagatis and, uh, ah, Nagatis Emerald Silver, which you only need one. For the fragments, you need nine. For the chunks, you need nine. And for the gemstones, you need six. Now, again, you could get these right now from the Dendro Hypostasis and the Terror Shroom. And then later on, you could get it from the Wee Nut, uh, <laughs> Wee Nut boss. Yes, Wee Nuts here. But yes, you could get those from that boss as well. However, I would say if you're pre-farming for her already, you're going to be getting a bunch of these from the Dendro boss. Speaking of the Dendro Hypostasis, you're going to need 46 of these Quelled Creepers, which only come from the Dendro Hypostasis that released in version 3.3. So I would say farm them up. You only need 46, which isn't too bad. That's less than, I think it, what was it? On average, uh, 46, cause you get average of three, uh, if you're at the highest world level. So you only need to do it about 16 times, which seems like a lot, but think about it. You're getting 160 resin. That's four days, four days worth of resin farming, which isn't too bad unless you're buying extra resin. Now, Outside of that, the specialty, which actually blew my mind, is Junyun Chilies, because she is a leeway character, and we haven't had a character use Junyun Chilies in a long, long time. You're going to need 168 of these, and if you don't have 168 as of right now, either you're brand new to the game or you haven't been farming a lot. So definitely get your Junyun Chilies. I'm sure there's a lot of veterans that will be more than willing to open up their world to let you have their Junyun Chilies, including myself. So if you if you have me as a friend, go ahead and, you know, ask me and I'll let you borrow some Junyun Chilies. So outside of that, right, we are going to need slime condensate. That's actually going to be, you know, what you need for the regular materials. And so slime condensate, we get a lot of in general. And I'm very surprised that she's going to be one of the easier characters to kind of uh, build up here. You need 18 of the regular slime condensate. You need, uh, from looks of it, 30 of the slime secretions and 36 of the slime concentrate. So that's pretty dope. Like, I, I love the fact that we're able to actually use our old materials. So that's really, really cool. Now that's just to level her up from zero to 30. And obviously if you're like me, you always wonder what's it going to take for me to get them to, you know, triple crown. Now, as you can see right here, trying not to move too much is that she does take regular books, books or teachings of diligence to be exact, which if you've been a player for a long time, you probably got a large stash of these just sitting there waiting to be used. Now you're going to need three of these teachings of diligence, the green ones, you're going to need or sorry, you're going to need three of the teachings of diligence, but you're going to need nine for the triple crown. My apologies. Nine in total of these for the triple crown. You're going to need 63 of these for the triple crown, which is the guide to diligence, which is the next step. And then you're going to need in total, uh, if I remember correctly, 114 of these philosophies of diligence. And that's a lot 
for triple crowning, obviously. But that's only if you want to go for the triple crown. Now, honestly, most healers, I don't normally go for a triple crown. So, yeah, it's, got, it's going to be a little bit difficult, but she is a nice healer. So be ready for that. Uh, slime, condensate, you're going to need six uh, for just one level 10 in total. But that's only going to get you to level two. And that you'll need 18 in total to get all of them up to level uh, two in general. Now, from levels three to six, you're going to need, from what it looks like, 22 for one slime secretions. But for all three to get to level six, you're going to need 66 of the slime secretions. And then from level seven to level 10, you're going to need 31 for one level 10. And you're going to need 93 of the slime concentrates for all three to get to level 10. Now, outside of that, really the only other thing that you're going to need is these little things right here, the Daka's Bell. Now, the Daka's Bell you get from the Scaramouche boss battle. Yes, the same boss battle that we talked about in the previous video, you're going to need to do here for the Daka's Bells. And if you haven't been grinding every week, it's gonna be difficult for you to actually be able to do a uh, full triple crown right away. So, like me, I'm, I'm kinda like, ugh, great. I haven't been doing this. So, if you haven't done so already, start farming your Scaramouche battle. You're going to need in total for all three skills, 18. Now, again, I would not suggest triple crowning this unit just yet, or this character, because of the fact that we don't know if it's worth it as of yet. Now, obviously, she's gonna be a healer, and most healers, in my personal opinion, have a hard time, like, warranting a triple crown, if that makes sense. But outside of that, the amount of more that you're going to need to do not only the triple crown, but also from level one to level 90 is 7.1 million. That will never change. That's going to be with every single character, which is a lot of more to invest in a character if you're going to triple crown them. So you got to really think carefully if you haven't been farming yet to, you know, kind of warrant what you're going to be purchasing. So be ready for that because Yao Yao is going to be a fun little healer, I think. I don't know if it's going to be worth the triple crown, but if you follow these steps that I've kind of provided on what you need to pre-farm, you can at least farm up to the 777 that I always suggest people do. Now, of course, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I know that, you know, this one was a little bit shorter than I'll hide them, but there's not really much else to talk about with Yao Yao because, you know, again, she's very easy to farm, you know, so there's not really much description I really need to go into. A lot of the stuff we get, we get from Mondstadt, from Liyue, and of course, Sumeru. So there's not really much else that you really need, especially when it comes to ascending her. But please make sure to hit that like, comment, subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of when the next Genshin Impact video comes out on this channel. Of course, guys, thank you all so much for giving me the opportunity to entertain you. We'll be back again with another Genshin Impact video soon. And of course, we will see you guys in the next video. Please take care and be safe, y'all.